Hello and welcome to our latest Scratch tutorial. This is a very short tutorial which will just teach you how to add an additional feature to any of the games that you've already created. And the additional feature is this timer. Okay, So in a previous game, in a previous tutorial, we uh, created our flying cat coin game. Okay, And the, you know, the cat catches as many coins as he likes. But a way to make that game more interesting is to add a timer. So you can see here I have a timer there which is counting down from 30 seconds um, and so there's a time limit to see how many coins I can get within that time and it can you know a timer can be added to all sorts of games and it really kind of makes them a little bit more interesting and a bit more exciting and it's very easy to do so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so I'm going to close this game um, and go back to the game without the timer and we're going to go inside here and I'll show you how to do it so you can add the code to any of the uh, sprites. I like to add it to the uh, main character sprite because I think it just makes makes sense that it's attached to the main character. Okay, and as we do so often with our code, we begin with the flag. Okay, and we then head down to variables. So you can see I've already added this variable. Okay, but you just need to do it yourself. Click make a variable and call that variable timer. Okay, or time if you like. Okay. And then after you've clicked those, you'll see they both appear. So I like to have my timer at the top and then the score underneath. Okay. So what we then need to do is to, at the beginning of the game, set the timer to, let's just do it for 20 seconds. Okay. And you can do it for as long as you like. Let's say, I'm going to set it for 20 seconds. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to put in our forever loop. Forever. And then we're going to wait. A second, okay, and then we're going to change the timer, okay, by minus one. Okay, so very simple there. You see, basically, just every second it will reduce that number by one, okay. Then we need to put in something so that it will stop when we've um, got down to zero, okay. So we go back here and we add the if. Okay, and the less than key. Okay, if the timer is less than zero, sorry, it's less than one. <laughs> if the timer is less than one, then let's stop the game. Okay, and it really is that simple. And you can add this code to you know all sorts of games to add a timer to your game to make it more fun. Um, and let's now click run and let's see if this works. Yeah, so you see I've got, you know, I have to work more quickly to collect as many coins as possible before my time runs out. Five seconds left. Okay, and when it hits zero, the game has finished. So very easy little bit of code, but makes the games a lot more exciting. So I hope you found that useful. In the next tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to add an end screen that says game over. So if you've enjoyed this extra feature, check out that as well. Um, and that will really make your games even more fun. So thanks for watching. Remember to click like. Yeah, thanks for watching. And remember to check out all of our other videos.